thank you both so much for speaking with me today. Um, very excited about this interview, but uh, I wanted to ask first, you know, what is your experience with true crime, like documentary, docuseries? Are you a fan of the genre? I, I certainly am. I, I'm a huge fan of the genre. I like eat it up for breakfast every day. I'm obsessed with it. I fall asleep to podcasts, documentaries, docu-series, anything like that. Like that is my genre. I love it. And so this was the first doc like a uh, true crime thing that I'd ever done. So I was super excited about that. Nice. What about you, Odessa? I, I, I tried really, really hard once upon a time to 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 get into it and I and I did obviously it's like so magnetic and intriguing the genre and it just sucks you in and you become completely obsessed with these things and you get you become convinced that you can solve these mysteries and no one else can and that you're you know they're they're calling for you um but but ultimately I think it it just like I, I couldn't sleep and and I like became really uncomfortable with with how little I knew and how things how much things would shock me um so I had to stop <laughs> I'm just not built for it <laughs> well, oddly enough I think I've had both experiences but um, yeah I wanted to ask you a bit about your relationship as on-screen sisters amidst all of the media circus and the family drama that affects uh, that that plays out in the series. So what was that process like you know, developing that relationship together, but then also with the other siblings? I think it was pretty easy for us. Um, we're just blessed that we really enjoy each other as people. And, um, you know, it's just genius casting on, on their behalf. Um, and we like we had to do so many family scenes um, in the first few episodes where they're just all living in the house um, and there's these long family dinners with each other and there's these, you know, big conversations sitting around the kitchen table or in the living room. And um, it just meant that as cast members, we were all kind of around each other for for a really long time and then that obviously does like an incredible thing to bond people but then I actually think that I didn't realize and Sophie brought this up earlier just kind of the, the feeling of anxiety when we were in scenes by ourselves as opposed to together as sisters like I didn't realize how important that bond was and how quickly it happened and how strong it was until we got to the scenes where we had to be alone um and then you'd kind of find yourself going like oh I actually have no anchor and like I don't even know who my character is without my big sister and you know that I think that was kind of also very helpful for the bond is the absence of it and you know there's much more to say about like the realities of that but I'll keep it short I love that. Uh, but so, do you have anything anything to add to that? Uh, I mean, uh, Odessa kind of hit the nail on the head. I mean, we we bonded very very quickly, and then um, yeah, that was because we were in so many scenes together. Um, when when our storylines kind of veer off from one another, I, I found myself definitely like getting a lot of anxiety, and I would I, I would go and like sit in. We, Odessa and I would always go in between takes or setups. If we were shooting in the Peterson house, we would go and sit in uh, her bed, in Martha's bedroom um, and just like hang out there, chill out. And when I didn't have her in a scene with me, I would still just go to your bedroom and sit there <laughs> and be like, oh, I wish Odessa was there with me. All my clothes. But yeah. <laughs> Smell her clothes, lie in her bed. Um but yeah, it, it's, it was just funny the way that it happened to the point where like, I mean, life really was mirroring, you know, our characters and the way that they're so anchored to one another and um, completely each other's lifelines. So it, that was very yeah. interesting. Yeah, absolutely. And 
I think this is going to be my last question, but um, was there a lot of speculating on set or did you try to avoid it? Like, obviously in real life, this is the kind of thing that, you know, you watch and you talk to your friends endlessly about it. So was that something that also happened on set or help inform your characters in any way? I think it made up like 90% of the conversations that we would end up having on set. It's like, it would always come back to whether or like what opinion we had of that day. Cause I think everybody, everybody's opinions were just constantly changing and everybody was finding out new information or like getting to another part of the story or just digging deeper into this one bit. And like, all of a sudden you'd just change your mind. So we were, I think we were kind of constantly talking about it, but despite that, despite seven months of constantly talking and think about, thinking about it, nobody got anywhere. <laughs> No. nobody, nobody no. has any idea what we believe still no. I think now like pe- I, people ask me now they're like oh my god you're in the staircase show like what do you think happened and I'm like just don't I don't want to don't ask me about it like I don't I can't I can't speculate anymore I've done so much speculating <laughs> and so uh, I've gone through every every possibility um in my mind and I think, yeah, we, we've all just exhausted um, ourselves of, of speculating anymore. Yeah, it's almost like having too much information is, is making it hard and harder to, to think about yeah. it, especially like, I, I assume it reflects the real life experiences of those um, yeah. family members and everyone around it. Yeah, exactly. I think so. at, at a certain point, you have to accept the fact that you're just never going to know for sure. So the last thing, uh, this, I'll try to have this be a really brief one, but um, in just like a sentence, what would you say is the most fascinating thing about this whole mystery and story to you? Ooh, that it's real? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. That, 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 you know, these are, this is like a real story with real people involved and real things that have happened to them and like somehow... I don't know whether it's like an energetic thing. Like, I don't know what to attribute it to, but there are some people who who weird things just keep happening to. And I think that this family is just unfortunately kind of some of those people just put in one, one big happy family. So that's, that's, that's the most shocking thing to me that it's like that we didn't actually make anything up to make this so exciting (laughs) yeah there were no liberties taken to make the story more exciting it was probably like we might have to leave that on the cutting room floor that's a bit too much that's a bit too much but it's (laughs) no one's gonna believe that (laughs) yeah exactly right well I think that's probably my time I'm going my internal thought is correct (laughs) so (laughs) I'm gonna so thank you both so much for your time and I'm loving the series so far Thank you. Have a good one. You as well.